Welcome to Inside the PGTI. We're in Ahmedabad for our second show on the Professional Golf Tour of India's 2013 season opener, the Gujarat Kensville Challenge. In just its third edition, the European Challenge Tour and PGTI's co-sanctioned event has grown as one of the premier tournaments on the Challenge Tour schedule since the inaugural tournament in 2011. The 2 lakh euro event saw an increased field of 120 players, including 63 members from the European Challenge Tour and 57 from the PGTI, which was led by former major champion Rich Beam. The top names also included the 2011 winner Gaganjeet Bula, the top Indian player in golf's world rankings, and the 2012 runner-up Rahil Ganji, together with other leading Indian players such as Shiv Kapoor, Chirag Kumar and Rashid Khan. It was Shiv Kapoor though who lived up to his top billing as he led the tournament after three rounds. The Delhi golfer, who was on the back of a win in Noida a month ago, broke the course record with a 65 in the third round to move four shots clear going into the final day. His tournament total was 13 under after earlier rounds of 67 and 71. Scotsman Andrew MacArthur, who held a two-shot lead after the opening two rounds, carded his worst score of the week, a one under par 71 on the third day, leaving him in outright second place on nine under. Completing the top three going into the last day was England's Philip Archer, who carded a scorching 66 on the penultimate day to take his total to eight under par. Dutchman Tim Sluter was fourth on seven under, while first round leader Augustin Domingo was tied for fifth with three others on five under. Makesh Kumar and Peter Uline, the 2010 US amateur champion, were tied in ninth on four under. Among the other big names, Gaganjeet Bula dropped from tied 6th after the second round to 15th, while Rahil Ganji slipped even further back from 6th place to 20th. Rich Beam, meanwhile, was tied for 42nd on 3 over. Daniel Im began the day 8 shots off the lead, but got off to the perfect start at the first with this long birdie putt, which took him to six under. Shiv Kapoor was struggling on the same hole. He needed to sink this putt for par and couldn't from long distance, so fell to 12 under. It went from bad to worse for Kapoor at the second, as he began with back-to-back -back bogeys to slump to 11 under. Daniel Vanksik hit a wayward tee shot at the third and couldn't sink this five-footer for bogey, so fell from four to two under. Tim Sluter, who started the day in fourth place, was also struggling, missing this bogey putt to fall to five under. At the same hole, Shiv Kapoor was faring better, sinking this birdie putt from just off the green to move to 12 under. His playing partner was falling by the wayside, Andrew MacArthur missing this par putt to fall to eight under. So Kapoor found himself with a commanding four-shot lead in the early stages of his final round. Andrew MacArthur and Philip Archer were his nearest challengers with Daniel Im and Peter Uline still in the mix. Shiv Kapoor at the par 3 fifth, 198 yards, likes the look of this one, and that's why 
That will nestle up right against the flag and leave him a four-footer for birdie. Daniel Vanksik, third shot at the par five sixth. And that will nestle only a couple of feet away and guarantee him a birdie, which would take him to two under. Philip Archer now back at the par three fifth. One of the signature holes on this golf course. He's leaning slightly to his left-hand side, but that's okay. It will just roll on a little bit past the flag though. Birdie opportunity for him, nonetheless. PTU line needs to sink this to stay in contention and it doesn't catch the left lip of the hole. Double bogey, his challenge is over as he falls to four under. Philip Archer for birdie. This will be quick down the hill. Should break slightly from right to left. Is it going to turn? Yes, it is. Just drops in off the right lip. And Archer moves to nine under. That still, though, leaves him four shots off the lead because Shiv Kapoor also walks away with a birdie and he moves to 13 under. Daniel Im at the par four seventh. This is for birdie. He also sunk one in at the sixth as well. So he's left that short and not quite got the line right either. So he'll have to settle for par. Back to Archer at the par five sixth. This is third shot, putter in hand. Straight out of it though, that was for Eagle. Not the best effort, but still a birdie chance. Augustin Domingo for birdie. Hit that one too fast and it never came back from the left. So he stays on four under. Andrew MacArthur now, this is for Eagle. One of the bigger hitters here. He leaves it short though. That should be a birdie opportunity that will take him to nine under. Makesh Kumar, known for his final day charges in those rather fetching pair of blue trousers. Down the hill for his first birdie of the day at the eighth. And in it goes. He moves to five under. Needs a strong back nine though if he's to challenge because he finds himself eight shots off the leader Shiv Kapoor who has a three-shot advantage over Philip Archer, who birdied the sixth. Andrew MacArthur is also in contention, and Tim Sluter on six under, having made amends for his double bogey on the fourth with a birdie at the sixth.